Hello and good day to you. I am Manny the Man Mantis. I come from the land of Benny with many legs. He asked, nay told me, to help our dear friend Chaucer, who has had many, many questions from his dear friends. So the first question comes from Luke the Duke of Vogelhausen. He writes, Dear Chaucer, my friend, how can I get my human to give me more treats? Luke the Duke of Vogelhausen. Hiya Luke, I noticed in your picture you have the best puppy eyes. Work those my friend and the treats will follow. Good insight Chaucer. Your next question comes from a Mr. Blue. Says, Dear Chaucer, my dad has gotten cheap with the dog treats. What do I do? Mr. Blue. Hiya, Mr. Blue. I am so sorry you're dealing with this travesty. I suggest contacting Lily the Basset Hound lawyer. She has contacts all over the world. Treats are a basic canine right. Good luck, my friend. You heard it here first, folks. Lily, the Basset Hound Lawyer, will fight for your rights. The next matter of concern comes from Otis. Otis says, Friend Chaucer, Mom calls me a hiney sniffer. Can you offer me any advice? Love, Otis. Hiya, Otis. Keep sniffing butts, my friend. That's how we get to know each other. But don't sniff your human's butt. It scares them sometimes. Yes, watch out for those human butts. I've lost many loved ones under them. The next inquiry comes from Gemma and Bruce. Gemma says, Hi Chaucer. Mom says I'm a jerk for barking at my chicken siblings when they have people food. Then I do things like this. To get my food that they don't eat. I can't help myself. Any advice? Hiya, Gemma and Bruce. That sure doesn't look comfortable. It seems to me that you're hurting yourself trying to get people food. My suggestion is go to the kitchen while they're feeding the chickens and help yourself. The food will be fresher and not have any chicken cooties on it. When they try to blame it on you guys, Tell them the chickens must have come into the kitchen and helped themselves. They're so used to people food that, that it's the only logical answer that it was them. That's very sound advice, young Chaucer. Next, Rufus and Bandit have a shared concern. They say, hi Chaucer, Rufus and Bandit here. We have lots of froggy and toady friends that we like to play with, but Mummy won't let them come in the house to play with us. We don't know why, do you? Hiya Rufus and Bandit. My mama won't let me bring my froggy and toady friends into the house either. She won't even let me give them rides in my mouth. I've come to the conclusion that humans are the afraid of things much smaller than them. Don't give up, buddies. That's very true, Sir Chaucer. In the insect world, we compete to see who can scare the most humans in a lifetime. My great, 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 great grandfather holds the record. He met his untimely demise under a human butt. Speaking of greats, next comes a question from Truman. His mama writes, How does Chaucer have a girlfriend as pretty as Charlotte without his parts? Truman does not have his parts either, and he lives with three girls, none of who will even give him the time of day. Hi, Truman. I am the sorry to hear about the three girls that don't want to hang out with you. Have your mama get you a Tinder. I'm pretty sure you'll have lots of ladies swiping right for you. Also, maybe you should get some of my Bassett Drill Cologne. It'll make you irresistible to the ladies. 
One more thing, never forget to do your daily affirmations. Look in the mirror and you tell yourself that you are the most handsome boy in the world. And when you believe it, the ladies will too. Good luck, my friend. And there you have it, my friends. Sage advice from Chaucer. Please come back next time when we explore more deep concerns troubling the canine world. We have plenty more questions yet unanswered, so we will see you shortly. In the meantime, if you have a problem that is troubling you, please leave them in the comments below, along with your picture. I will be sure to pass them on to Sir Chaucer himself. Stay kind, my friends, and see you next time. This is Manny the Man Mantis, signing off. Bye.